We start with the PDU session context creation in the access and mobility function, identifying the data network name and slice. Next, the session management function sends a PFCP session establishment request to the user plane function to set up forwarding and quality of service rules. This request includes creation of PDRs, bars forwarding to the GNB, QERs for QoS, and URRs for usage reporting. The user plane function responds confirming the up FSE ID and allocated IP for the user equipment. The access and mobility function then sends an N2 PDU session request to the next generation node B including UEIP and session identifiers. The GNB configures the uplink tunnel information with NGAP setup messages including NGUT ID and UPF GTPU IP addresses. The GNB sends a GEEKBU echo to the UPF to validate the tunnel has been established correctly. The GNB responds with a session resource setup confirming the downlink tunnel identifiers to the AMF. The AMF forwards the downlink tunnel info to the session management function to synchronize session parameters. The SMF sends a PFCP session modification request to the UPF updating the FARs with downlink TID and IP details for the GNB. The user plane function confirms the session modification with a response. Now the user plane is ready and GTPU uplink data flows from the UE to the GNB. Encapsulated GTPU data travels through the UPF towards the data network. The IP packet is forwarded to the internet while the response is relayed back through the data network. Finally, GTPU data is delivered in the downlink direction from the GNB to the UE completing the session.